Ciao. Benvenuti a Roma. Thank you. Elisabetta, mm -hmm. ciao and thank you very much for having me here at the Cartoni factory. I'm very proud that you see my little factory. Actually, when you say little, I would prefer to say family type factory. Yes, it is actually. It is, uh, you know, the, uh, the evolution of, of a laboratory. Uh, it is as it started with my father a long time ago. Tell me first of all a little bit about your father because obviously he's Mr. Cartoni and he is the one who started... Who the, founded the who company. Founded the company. Yes. He had a vision and yes. so... In a, a nutshell. Actually, the very first idea of making a camera support for, uh, to support the cameras came from my grandfather Renato in 1935. And my grandfather was an operator himself. He was uh, the chief operator for Istituto Lucia and he was also a mechanical engineer and he invented the joint. So he, but uh, those first models were only for his personal use and for his colleagues. He was making those heads for the Istituto Luce. One of these heads uh, happened to get in the hands of Mr. Richter, of Arnold and Richter in Munich. And he... Um, Just for the people who don't know who are those gentlemen. The founders of Ariflex okay. in Munich. And uh, Mr. Richter uh, was quite interested by the type of joint and thought that this could become the ideal support for uh, the cameras that he was inventing uh, together with Mr. Ar Mr. Arnold in those years. Um, uh, so he, he, he contacted, the, at that time my father was uh, already um, starting uh, um, and continuing the idea of his father. So actually the first heads were, uh, were under the Ari brand, am I right? The first heads were under the, the Ari brand. Uh, the ones that were uh, sold abroad were under the, the, the Ari uh, brand and they were under the Cartoni brand for the ones that were uh, sold domestically. But the company, uh, or your father established the company officially much later. Yes, my father was working out of his garage at the beginning um, with some uh, with the parts machined by an uh, outside contractor and he was assembling them uh, himself uh, during the night. Uh, and then uh, only in 1962 he uh, founded the first uh, uh, workshop, uh, buying the machines, uh, to make the parts himself and hiring some people uh, for the assembly. Your father actually had a um, long life. Yes, he, he, he passed away two, two years ago and he was 97. Wow. And actually he was attending the office or the factory Almost, almost until almost, the end. Almost, almost until the end. And uh, because his passion was to 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 invent those uh, uh, mechanisms, and from the first flywheel, then all the others uh, came after with the fluid, uh, two or three uh, different types of fluid, uh, different counterbalances. And my father has uh, deposited more than thirty different patents on on the mechanism. This is my daddy. <laughs> Elisabetta, if there's anything that your father left you as a heritage when you wake up in the morning and you do have the responsibility to produce and there are families behind you, what is it? Yes, I think that the most important uh, heritage we got from, from Papa was his attitude um, in, in regards to the job and, 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 the, and the clients. He said, we are making tools and these tools have to serve the operator. They are serving an artistic job. So we, our duty is to give them tools that are easy to operate, that are easy to access, that won't give them problems. Because the less problems you are giving them, the best artistic vision they will produce. So this is actually our mission. Giving them tools that they can use with ease, without hassle. And after he passed away, how many people actually replaced him in his job? Right now, uh, I have an engineering team of six guys. Six people actually? Six people replacing one, but uh, we try to, to move on and, and, and to keep inventive and to, keep, to, be, to be productive and to keep on improving. And you took over the company together with your sister? Or, uh, uh, I started helping my father at the beginning, but you know, my father was an inventor, so 
uh, he didn't like very much all the part which is the official uh, the accounting uh, the, um, he he wanted to be at his table and, and draw and, uh, and experiment the devices so uh, I became complimentary with him to, to, to manage uh, let's say the business in, uh, in a structured uh, uh, way. And then my, my sister, who is 10 years younger than myself, uh, she came on board uh, after. And, uh, and today we are managing the company together. As we said at the beginning, the company is a very much family type company. How many people are actually working at Caltonia? We are not many. We are only 55 in total. Um, 55 people? 55 people in total, yes. With, let's like, say, um, like 18 between offices and, 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 uh, and design and the rest in production. And uh, our entire production is made here in Rome. Uh, from the raw materials that we buy to the finished uh, checked and uh, finished product. It's quite expensive to produce in Europe in general. Why, why do you insist to keep the production here? Um, we insist on that because we maintain a total control on the whole process and we don't get uh, bad surprises uh, of subcontractors that can fail components, that can fail materials, that can fail design. Um, you know, we try to minimize mistakes. And, and to be, and, but we also do mistakes, but because we have everything under the same roof, we are able to react very fast and not to delay um, the production. And usually the people you're working with, uh, are they you know, staying in the company for a long time or they just do here a few years and then they move on with no, their No, we have uh, very loyal employees that uh, became friends and family to us and some uh, have been working with my father for 40 years and uh, that's a long time, started when they were very, were very young and, 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 and went away only when they were retired. And when you look into the future, Family, first of all, family-wise, will there be a next generation to...? We hope so. Um, um, my sister has a son who is working with us, Alessandro, now for seven years. He's in the service department, so he's starting from the tough part, uh, getting and uh, collecting the complaints and fixing problems, which is a very good school. And uh, he will be the future. Uh, but also the team of my technicians uh, that uh, will stay with us and, and uh, we are pretty confident that we are going forward well. And is the competition in this field is strong or you know because when people are th thinking about a tripod it looks like a very conservative product but obviously some companies are trying to innovate here but is, is the competition uh, Strong in this field. Competition is very strong, um, uh, especially because they are much bigger companies. They have uh, financial means and, 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 and workforces that are uh, ten times ours, if not more. Um, they also um, wisely have transported their, their fabrication facilities in places where labor is less expensive and uh, we maintain everything in a, in, a, in a very expensive country like Italy where we have strong unions, uh, we have um, expensive uh, power. Um, taxation is very high and, and so on. Taxation so. is extremely high. Uh, but we thought moving sometimes, but at the end um, we prefer to stay where we are and uh, eventually earn less but um, have a happy team. <laughs> Sounds like nothing can replace good pasta, good red wine. It, it, it is very hard to try to replace those assets, you know. <laughs> Elisabetta, thank you very much. It was again very nice to see you and talk to you. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much. Thank for you for giving me, me this opportunity. Thank you.